Down the tunnel, an opportunity here at the home for the Atlanta Hawks. Looking sharp and focused for the task at hand. A view of the Atlanta skyline and all the action below it, as seen from the 17th Street Bridge. We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Curry is out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the three spot. And for the Hawks, Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Trey Young is out there with Bogdanovich, and it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Here's Curry. Harris trying to get free. And here's Young. Here's with the jam. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammates. And last season for Capella wasn't that easy. Had his year cut short to injury. Never got the chance to shoot up with his new team in the Hawks. Hunter kicks to Young. The pass to Bogdanovich. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Oh, he's known for his offense more than defense. Harris plays with his high motor. And he likes to make plays. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. And with Capella and the Hawks, both are excited for this season. And on paper, Capella seems like a great fit. Can finish inside, pairs well with John Collins and Trey Young, and Capella could be the difference maker to get this team back in the playoffs. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Young against Simmons. Curry on the wing. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Great D. Simmons, the passing skills of a point. At 16, he can see the whole court. Outside, Bogdanovich. Here's Capella. And Embiid with the block. And he gets it back. Capella, the pass to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. He kicks to Hunter. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Here's Collins. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. Pass to Embiid. Simmons on the wing. And no good to start the night. Missing his first attempt there. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. 76. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And the guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. So no question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. So on the floor for Philadelphia, George Hill out there with Shake Milton. Then there's Ben Simmons. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Howard in at the center position. Well, many question the selection of Reddish in the draft. Bundens thought he had red flags. But, Greg, he developed nicely over his first season in the league. You know, Reddish caught up to the speed of the NBA, found his shot, and, and started to play with confidence. Sometimes it takes a little time for young guys to adjust. Williams against Hill. 
Williams looking around. Herder passes to Gallinari. Williams trying to break free. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut down to a single point after the basket from Gallinari. Outside Hill. Pass to Simmons. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Lobbed up there for Howard. Throws down the alley-oop slam. When you lob it Howard's way, he'll find ways to finish. That's how talented of a dunker he is. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Okungwu. And Okungwu slams it in. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Howard, the pass to Thibault. Yep, that one goes. This offense just continues to impress. What's up? And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Howard. Harris comes in for Simmons. Curry's checked in for Shake Milton. And Maxey subbed in for George Hill. The Hawks trail by four. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little, then execute your offense. Now, here is Young. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that's going to be a travel. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. 76ers lead. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. Looking at the second. And that should... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcast. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc Nudd just means that he'll be great in TV. So we saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. and man knows what he's talking about. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court right now for the Hawks. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Bogdanovich out there with Trey Young. And it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. Green dishes to Embiid. Four on the clock. And he banks in the layup. Embiid's got his first bucket in this one. What a finisher Embiid is. He's a pro at not letting the defense dictate to him. Collins looking around. And it's Hunter with the jam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Right side Curry passes it to Simmons. Over Young. Offensive rebound. They kick it out to Green. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Curry with it. From deep three-point range. The shot, no good. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. Well, 
we thought the third quarter was over. But it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. I, I, I think he got... And that's going to do it for the third quarter. 76ers on top, leading by four. And we'll be back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got George Hill. Harris is out there with help. Then there's Maxi, and it's Korkmaz at the small forward. Hill, no good. The Hawks trail by four. Here's Hurt. Steps back and fires. Korkmaz grabs the miss. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Hill looking it over. Here's Harris, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. Oh, man, the defenders have to be more cautious when guarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact with the shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Okong Wu's checked in for the Hawks. The 76ers also with the sub. Eibel's checked in. The good league is even better with excellent work at the strike. Hill against Young. Bullseye! He's smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young very reliable in that pick and roll. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Here's Harris. Plays it up and banks it in. Harris has got the lead up to six now for the 76ers. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Atlanta calls timeout. They're down by six. 51 seconds left in the game. present our New Balance player of the game, Ben Simmons. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Hey, guys. Well, Nate McMillan had some advice for the team during that last break. And even though they're down, he was confident. He said, look, guys, I've got all the confidence in the world in you. We've been down this road before. You know what we need to do. Kevin, let's see if they can overcome this deficit. Here's Young. Capella trying to free himself up. He uses the glass to finish the layup. So calm when the game is on the line. Young knows it's his job to bring this game home. And that's an intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I'm really curious to see what their strategy is at this point. You can't afford any wasted possessions. <laughs> 
23 seconds left in the fourth. But they'll get another chance. Second shot opportunity. Fernando, the pass to Reddish. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. So the 76ers 